cover story, and we're going to have more on that breakthrough treatment of, of, of flu that we were talking about in our first half hour. It's a new pill that is meant to reduce the length of symptoms. It was just approved by the FDA, and Dr. Jen Ashton is here with that. And we Good remember morning. how deadly this flu season was That's right. last year. So what's the news here? We're just getting into this year's flu season. Obviously, we're going to be covering it and watching it very closely. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about this drug, dr new drug. It's called Zofluza. What is different about it, it is one oral single dose regimen. So that's one pill. It's approved for people of age 12 and up, and it could potentially reduce not just the symptoms and the duration of symptoms by one day on average, but how contagious someone is. We don't know totally that data yet, but it looks promising. Okay, so we know about the symptoms. What about the possible side effects? Listen, you always have to balance risks versus benefits when you talk about any treatment, any medication, and like Tamiflu or that yeah, class right. of antivirals, there are side effects here. The common ones, headache, a little GI distress, upset stomach. Uh, there have been some reports of some mood disturbances and some psychiatric issues that will be being followed mm. for sure. But again, we have to remember the flu, flu-related deaths, over 80,000 in the U.S. last year. 80,000! So, absolutely. So it is very big news that we have a new drug in our arsenal. This works differently than Tamiflu. So that's generating some so excitement. So when will it be available and how much? So those are the big questions. Yeah. It will be available in the U.S. in the next couple of weeks. It comes with a big price tag. Its wholesale cost to the pharmacies mm -hmm. is $150. For people with insurance, it could be as low right. as a $30 copay. And for people without insurance, there is a coupon available that can help them with costs, but it all comes down to whether your insurance will cover yeah, it. it. It always does. That's right. So Absolutely. when people hear this, they're going to think, well, should I get the flu shot? Do this in lieu of? Or? Absolutely. This is not an either or. Okay? okay. So Robin, the CDC, we have to be crystal clear, is recommending that everyone six months of age and up get their flu vaccine by the end of this month. It takes about two weeks to get the protection. Mm -hmm. This is not a substitute. This is to reduce symptoms and severity by about a day and may help reduce complications but do not under any circumstances think that because there are treatments out there that you can just roll the dice mm -mm. and forego the vaccine that is not the case and we have to keep in mind keep in mind what happened last year and you are so and you're going to be hearing a lot about it we're going to be call it flu and you okay all right thanks so much Jim. well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.